The Royal Air Force Medical Service is an absolutely essential, pivotal role within defence. We can pick critically wounded servicemen up from anywhere around the world. In war, there is always a need for medical support. Nowadays, the RAF provides care in flight and on the ground. But early medical missions were simple evacuations. The concept of aeromedical evacuation goes right back to 1917. So out in the Middle East, they undertook the first aeromedical evacuation on a B-111. It was a very, very simple affair. All they did was essentially strap a patient to an aircraft and got them back to a medical treatment facility. From the First World War onwards, evacuating the wounded became part of the RAF's role during conflict. Their medical remit increased in the 1950s with the introduction of helicopters. The development of helicopters massively improved what was possible effectively in a, an evacuation context, whether that's on land or sea. It meant they could get to places more quickly and into areas that uh, other land and sea vehicles couldn't get to. Helicopters had a huge impact on activities such as mountain and air sea rescue. The development of helicopters meant that it can hold its position in the air, uh, in a hover. It can land vertically and uh, take off vertically from a very restricted or confined environment. In air sea rescue, the casualty could be very quickly identified and lifted, winched out of the water. Over time, the medical role of the RAF has developed so that they now provide life-saving treatment as well as evacuation. Initially very small helicopters, uh, maybe had walking wounded, uh, maybe a couple of stretchers strapped to the outside. As helicopters have uh, developed, capable of carrying bigger loads, you can now effectively carry almost small emergency rooms in the back of helicopters. Primary and immediate care has been able to be given in the aircraft during the transit back from the front line and a casualty evacuation made a massive difference and really improved success rates on those kind of evacuations. Today, medical missions take place around the world, in conflicts and in peacetime. They involve both helicopters and transport aircraft. Although military transport aircraft are noisy places to take a patient, it's not like having them in an intensive care in a hospital. It really is a, an ideal environment to be able to bring them back. And really our aim is to either match the care that the patient's receiving in country or indeed, in many cases, we're actually able to improve the care that we've been given. We're able to look after their breathing for them. We're able to deliver the drugs to keep their blood pressure stable. We can even do simple laboratory tests on the back of the aircraft as well. As well as providing treatment in flight, in modern warfare, it's also important to get medical teams on the ground as quickly as possible. So in modern conflicts, you're getting quite high trauma uh, casualties uh, from improvised explosive devices, uh, effectively a lot of uh, gunfire and battle wounds. Uh, they require very quick evacuation and quite immediate care. Treating serious injuries within one hour greatly increases the chance of survival. Doctors call this the golden hour. This rapid medical support was especially important in recent conflicts such as Iraq and Afghanistan. The Chinook specifically could access areas that uh, affected the mountainous regions in Afghanistan and very remote. The casualties in those situations historically might not have been able to receive the care they needed, but a helicopter could access them much quicker. A lot of people survived uh, with some bad injuries, but at least they survived that they wouldn't have survived uh, traditionally in, in historical battles. Throughout its history, the RAF have become specialists at flying into difficult areas to evacuate the injured and provide treatment. As a result of their work, many thousands of military and civilian lives have been saved. Yeah.